Todd? Yes, sir. Um, Mr. Todd has got some business to take care of Southwood Medical Center, but I'd like for him to give you all an update on where we are with our um, FEMA assistance and the Disaster Recovery Center and the deadlines that are, have been imposed where that's concerned. Good evening. Uh, so we have um, had discussions with, with FEMA and GEMA at the, at the state level and the uh, Disaster Recovery Center that's been open at the um, Civic Center since September the 17th. Um, so it's been open um, about five weeks now. It actually is going to close a week from today. So um, it's currently operating from uh, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday. So um, when they, they close the business at 6 p.m. on, on uh, next Tuesday, Halloween, um, they will shut it down and it will no longer be open. Um, I do understand from them that the the next day, November the first, the, the disaster recovery center in Brooks County will, will also close. So what that means is that um, uh, after that, the only disaster recovery center, if somebody wants to actually physically go sit down and speak to a live human being from FEMA, they'll have to go to the disaster recovery center in Cook County. Um, they haven't given me a date, but I would assume that probably the next week at the latest they will close. Because the deadline for people to register with FEMA is um, November the 6th. So after that time, um, so if they, somebody calls the 1 800 number, uh, goes to disasterassistance.gov, whatever, on November the 7th, they're not going to, you know, for Miles County, they're not going to be able to um, register with FEMA if they have any damage. So um, we, we are expecting, I've, I've got one FEMA and, and um, emphasize that we didn't want to just send out a press release the day before so their public affairs people are supposed to be um, providing a press release um, and that, you know the, the next day or two so that we can give people uh, ample notice that the disaster recovery center is closing so if there's anybody that's been waiting they, they may know that they need to go ahead and, and uh, go down to the office um, and um, <clears throat> And if they, if they need to register, there'll also be information that, you know, re-emphasizing the deadline. Um, that will be emphasized in the press release about the DRC closing, and there'll also be multiple press releases, I'm sure, between now and November 6th to, to make sure people are aware. Um, and we'll, you know, every time FEMA issues something, Megan's real good about making sure that we get that pushed out to our local media contacts, as well as getting it pushed out on social media. Um, but between the, um, the DRC will have been open for a little over six weeks by the time it closes. Um, we had FEMA DSA, the Direct Survivor Assistance people, going door to door. They visited over 6,000 homes. Um, we did several mobile outreaches where we went to different churches in the community. Um, so we really felt like that um, you know, we have afforded everybody ample opportunity. The numbers are dwindling at the DRC. Uh, when it first opened, they were seeing you know 80 to 100 people a day, and now we're you know averaging 20, 25 people a day coming through, um, which also indicates um, that most of the people um, have um, there's less of a need for people to see the the um, female people in person. But um, you know, I would encourage, and like my message would be, if somebody has gotten a um, denial, or um, sometimes it doesn't say denial. It says not approved. There's a difference in not approved and denied. I know that's semantics, but um, if somebody's not um, happy with the answer they received from FEMA, if they register a claim, um, I would encourage them to um, file an appeal. They can do that online. Um, you know, it's a pretty simple process. I actually did it myself. Um, and so the, the appeals process is fairly easy. Um, but, you know, a lot of people are more comfortable speaking to somebody in person. And so that's what the DRC is for. So just want to make sure that they know they've got another week to take advantage of that that resource, and uh, then it will will be gone. Um, and again, one, of course, one of the, the primary reasons why we feel that it's been open, but obviously that's a full location, so we need to have time for um, public works to turn that back over, so we can um, you know, use it as a public place during the municipal elections. But if you have any questions about the um, I will give you one stat. The last number I saw, we've had over 8,200 people register um, in Lowndes County with FEMA. Um, and the 
the last number I saw was about $3.1 million worth of assistance has been given out to Lowndes County residents. Um, so that's a pretty big number in and of itself. And when you figure that the maximum award somebody could get is 41000 and they've only given out probably less than, less than 10 of those, so that means most people are getting less than 41. So you can do the math. If we had $3.1 million and it's 40,000 or less, that's a lot of people that have gotten gotten something from FEMA. Uh, you know, we're, we're still working with um, nonprofits and, and trying to fill those gaps because so there still will be some still will be some needs. Um, have some some other groups coming in to meet with us to see what we can do to help. Uh, that answer any questions you might have about the FEMA assistance to DRC. Any that? Any questions? Thank you. Thank you, Ashley. We appreciate everything you've done.